Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're enjoying the series so far, but I thought now that we've kind of passed a couple of months working on this uh, competition website together, I really want to extend the website further and give you access to more capabilities that you might see out there in some of the really, really high-end uh, competition websites. And the main barrier that you guys have and the, what I've seen in emails is picking up trust with your with your customers and the way to pick up trust in my opinion is to be as transparent as possible so what I've done is decided to create a plugin and it's to put entry lists on your website automatically so all you need to do is after you've you know finished your your raffle or even during your raffle you can put these uh, entry lists up all you need to do is when you install the plugin you can basically pick a product and enter in a, uh, some information about that product but any, anyway I'm getting ahead of myself uh, I'll go through this video now and show you exactly what the plugin does and see if it's something that you might like for your website all right right okay so you can see here we're on the default uh, theme so all seems as standard but you see here in the top list we now have entry lists now entry lists are going to be basically a uh, card based system where you can click in and see exactly who has entered into that competition and what's good about that is because everybody can see their own entry for one that it's always good to see your entry that you've bought on a list ready to go for the live stream and on top of that you can see everybody else's entry you know that this is a legit raffle company that because they're broadcasting their raffle uh, entry lists right on their website so I'll go from start to finish here. We'll create a new product and then we'll show you the the raffle list or the entry list that gets generated from that automatically. Super easy. Right, we'll go simply to the dashboard, create a new product. So okay, products, add new. Okay, we'll just give it a simple title. Test, test entries. Okay. Prize. Just gonna replicate this throughout. Don't want to keep it here all day. So there's gonna be a hundred entries for this, uh, and the end date is gonna be at the end of November. Select the competition, virtual. So there's gonna be a hundred tickets minimum, hundred tickets maximum, and uh, max tickets. We'll just put a hundred per user. Okay. Go ahead. Head on down. One winner. Price is going to be 10, for example. We're going to start that competition right now. So we can just click on today and also finish on the 30th. So as you would see in the previous videos, what you want to do is then add to allow ticket numbers. Uh, I usually use the random, randomly, randomly assign a, a ticket number. So it just speeds up checkout. Uh, manual winner picking this is very important or else the system will pick the winner for you which you do not want uh, make sure manual winner picking is on I've had a few emails about this make sure you are manually picking your winner uh, or else it'll just change the front end of the website for you and pick some random person uh, so forced to enter a question will not allow true answers because it is a competition so question here false and false all right so all set up just making sure there's nothing else i need to add here so we're going to add to live and also add a product image so we'll just go for this guy in his m3 as a Kind of default product image just to show you here so we're going to publish that uh, competition go back to the site you'll see there's our new competition with the end date the uh, the title how much it is per entry and 100 entries maximum so go, go ahead and enter that competition pick the true answer so we've got five tickets we want to buy 50 pounds view basket Proceed to checkout. Then we fill in our billing details. Be billing details as usual. Happy enough with those. Cash on delivery. Uh, obviously, just as a test payment. 
you obviously have your uh, trust payments uh, set up here and that's in obviously part nine of the the video series to set up your own diy raffle website uh place order and there we go there there's our five tickets so 13 20 20 49 82 and 100 uh, and we have answered true okay so now on to the main part of the video where we go and create a ticket list so that people can see uh well everyone because it's in the public domain can see exactly who's entered that competition not exactly who's entered into into it but i'll show you in a wee second what i mean by that so once you've installed the plugin i'll put a link in the description for this plugin if you do want to purchase it so go ahead ticket lists all ticket lists so we just want to add a new ticket list and what we're going to do is go give it a title so this is going to be test entries and this is really just for your own records this title so that doesn't come up in the front end of the website uh, from the drop down we're going to select the product that we've just created test entries if you do have a lot of products here just make sure you just search in the top box and you'll be able to find it uh, the draw date is uh, on the 30th and you can add in different things in here such as like you know a youtube video for example i'll actually get a link for that why not while we're here you can embed youtube videos very simply on the website all you need to do is copy um a youtube video link and in directly into those boxes and it'll embed for you so get a video link here head on down and all we need to do is paste in so i'm actually going to show you what this looks like that's what the video uh, link i'm pasting is and if i just paste it in here and press or well, don't have to press anything it does it automatically there it goes there's a you know some test footage so say you have your draw you can always update this area with your uh if your draw was live streamed on youtube or any other embed sites you can always copy and paste your embed code into this area so we'll go back when a draw soon there's our test entries you don't have to touch anything else in here we just publish Now that's a published post we're going to go ahead and go back to the website go to entry lists and there it is there's our entry it uses the featured image of the uh, competition uh, and obviously these are the other entry lists we have so if you click into entry lists this will give you the the title of the um, test entries like the, obviously the, the product title uh, and also uh, that we caption that you put in the winners list area so if we head on down you'll see that my name has come up although i've just give the initial of the second uh, name because obviously you don't want to be directly identifiable uh, without someone's you know no one really wants their full name even though they're on facebook and whatever and you've all your details everywhere uh nobody likes to see exactly full name so ryan h is grand uh the purchase date so i've made that november 10th that's today and these are all my ticket numbers so imagine you have thousands and thousands of tickets in this list it might be really hard to find just your tickets or you know maybe you want to search for something on the right hand side here all you need to do is type in it might even be just your ticket number so maybe i want to look for 49 and immediately it uh, uses data tables to filter and you can search for anything so anyone who uses you know ryan obviously it comes up but you can search for anything so and that's pretty much the long and short of it i think this will really make a difference to your, your trust levels in your site this and the likes of trust pilot you know just showing reviews showing uh live lists because you don't have to update this as soon as you have this created as your your test entry list uh every time someone buys a ticket they'll be added to this list uh very very simple uh but anyway, link in the description if you liked it, if you like this feature. Um, to add it to your menu, all you need to do is go, when you activate the plugin, uh, entry lists will be created. And all you need to do is click it from the list and add to menu. And then that'll be, uh, that'll be there waiting for you. Uh, simple as that, just save the menu, make sure you're in menu one. 
uh, and that's it any uh, if you have any questions get in touch get in contact and i'll hopefully be able to help you out all right cheers bye